we will be able to do it. So um, first of all, welcome to the Truth Tribe. I'm Don Thompson. <laughs> I always forget to tell everybody so that newbies forget and they don't know who this is. So anyway, if you're the new one, welcome to the evening. I am so excited you're here and thank you for being here. Those of you who've been with me for years, it's good to see you back. You are all perfect exactly where you are in this now moment. There's nothing wrong with you. As hard as everything seems, it's not. It's perfect. And I love you all very much. And I want to show you all the latest addition to the IDI Truth Collection. Everybody look. I know this is for all of you tonight, okay? Yo, can you read it? Born to be a badass. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's navy. I don't know if it looks, it looks black in here, but... It's Navy. It's actually one of my favorite ones. So on my website, I deserve it now.com, go to shop and you can get a whole bunch of super cool um, new apparel that we are carrying and it looks awesome. So this is Navy, Navy Black. We have a super bright royal blue. We have white and black um, t shirts. We talk about lighthouses. There's lighthouse t shirts. There are um, truth sweatshirts. There's karma sweatshirts there's badass sweatshirts all of it super cool anyway i love it so anyway everyone welcome welcome to tonight um what are we going to talk about we're going to talk about why i needed non-truth to see clearly and why you do too okay that's what our topic is going to kind of revolve around tonight and there is a um a phrase that it's one of my favorite everybody who works with me or knows me it's one of the things i use the most which it, it says how you do anything is how you do everything okay and it's one of my favorite because it's in it can be interpreted with like so many versions right so many ways and but the simple version is is the truth that you avoid is the truth that will free you right into a peaceful life and i mean peaceful right? So life is not about being happy and blissed out with like nothingness all at all times. Cause that's, I think what we get lost into is I just don't want all that out there. And it, it's not, it's, it's about being at peace with who you are being right now, like who you are being right now. And so if you, if you want to see a real realistic truth about your specific life, you must see non-truth that you dislike, right? We're, we're, we're going to move out of this life of duality, but we will still be polar yin and yang. Your physicality will always still carry it. So we have to learn to see the non-truth that you dislike. So you, you must be the one that investigates your peace, right? Investigates what it is that brings you peace. And that's something most people don't like to look, look at because it's, it's things we don't like typically, right? So why do you consume and what do you consume and why? It's a big thing that I want people to look at spiritually, mentally, and physically. What do you consume and why do you consume it, right? Is your objective to, when you consume anything, gratitude for its presence or attachment to its form? Right. So when you consume anything, are you in gratitude for its presence or are you attached to the thing that it is? So if it creates peace in your life, it's perfect. If it creates chaos and it's external, it's external programming that's rejecting your soul signature, then, you know, it's programming. These, these are examples. So if you look at non-truth programming, this is I'm going to share a little bit of when my soul has rejected my soul signature okay who i am and it's rejected non-truth programming okay body mind spirit and or things thoughts and truth right you can look at it from whatever level but some people get like you know what's body mind and spirit it's things your body thoughts your mind and spirit is true okay so let's just go to body and things for me okay so physically right I used to be a vegetarian for 12 years. And, and it's fascinating because this would be a very healthy thing to do for yourself, correct? I mean, that seems like it would be, you know, a, 
a, a smart choice, shall I say. And it, I felt horrible. <laughs> I felt absolutely terrible the entire time for 12 years of being a vegetarian, right? I was constantly sick. I was struggling with my overweight. And until I almost died and was forced to look at myself, i.e., right, the non-truth, I had to use then at that point food to heal my deficiencies and bring myself back to life. And so I began eating red meat that my body was begging me for. I was iron deficient. I was all of it. And so what's fascinating is I ate vegetarian because I thought it was the most healthy way to eat as I was taught in school. Now, this was back in the 80s, 70s and 80s. So again, I know I'm dating myself, but we didn't know any better, right? And so we thought, okay, well, this is the best thing to do. Many, you know, were doing it because they think, well, you know, I, I want you guys to think about it. I ate vegetarian because I thought it was the best thing, right? I didn't know that there was a different way. There were other ways for other specific bodies have different ways. And so many don't, they eat vegetarian, right? Because they think it's in, inhumane, right? Which I, that's not why I was eating it. I was eating it because I thought it would make me feel better, be healthier, but it got me more sick, right? And so when people aren't eating it because it's inhumane but then they have no respect for the animals and the bugs that are being killed by eating plants so if you truly are an awake to your physical truth and your soul's truth you don't want to see you don't see plants as separate from animals as separate from rocks as separate from humans you just see everything as oneness right? So I simply had to shift my eating with gratitude of nourishment for my soul, what my soul needs, instead of judgment against what my body was asking for to thrive. And we haven't been told that because we've been in such polarity. And so all the, you know, all the basic body types clearly are different. Go figure. Is that crazy? Like we're not looking at every, how we do anything. Oh, we're all different zodiac signs, but you think you don't all have different bodies. It's a shocker, right? We're all different and perfect at the same time. And so, uh, yes, I switched to a keto, high fat diet, full of meat and my entire health and my weight came back in balance immediately within like probably two or three weeks. And I was very sick almost died losing my daughter and childbirth. I mean, I was sick. And this three week, two, three week regimen of bringing a lot of high fat and, and meat back in literally flipped me back into alignment. So I'm trying to teach, this is something we're taught is good for you, but it's bad for another. Now let's go to spiritual. Spiritually, right? What is a non-truth? Because body, mind, spirit, we'll go back to mind in a minute. Let's talk about spirituality. Okay, most religions are taught God is a man, or let's say Hindu would be women, right? We have, you know, Kali and, and all these other beautiful goddesses, but just, just say women too are somewhere in the sky at some, some far off white land of the free interpreted from some book by some other man who has never been there. This, this, my friends, it was my easiest truth to stand in my soul's truth, my soul signature, because I spoke to angels and God all the time as a child, right? Direct, like I just had these deep conversations, right? And so growing up Catholic, very Catholic, right? When the priest said, it's time for me to repent and use my rosary, like and I, in my mind, even as a 12 year old, right? I was like, please give me a break sitting in the, you know, the confessional. In my mind, I'm like, whatever, I'm going to go chat. I'm going to go talk to God about my day and the things that are inspiring me. And, and JJ, who was super cute in geometry class at the time, and admiring my pretty rosary beads. Like, I already knew. I was like, well, I already talked to God. I don't, I don't need you. God and I don't need you to interpret his love. This is a big deal for people because you're not going to the root of what your soul knows. This whole religion, no matter what version you choose, does not compute 
with the unconditional love God theory. But we don't ask that question. So if I'm loved unconditionally, why do I need a middleman? And why don't, why don't you teach religions, right? Teach us to talk to angels personally. Why do we need the middlemen who are sitting all around you, all over the place from birth? Why aren't we taught that from birth as babies? I want to know, right? So this is a big deal spiritually. Why I bring up why I teach what I teach. This is a very big deal because the truth was very frustrating with me about astrology being deemed as bad in the eyes of the church was super funny to me, right? Because God didn't make the planets. I mean, that's just odd to me. Of course, God made the planets. It's simply an energy blueprint of your DNA, your user's manual. Yet so many, I watched this over and over again. And I thought, wow, devout religious friends, because I don't judge. You want to be religious? Don't be religious. I'll chat with you about God would say, oh my God, my faith, my religion says I can't use astrology. Yet there they would be showing up, asking me for their chart, trying to figure out who they were and what was going to happen and what happened to their middleman. I need you all asking these questions of non-truths. They don't have to be the whole blanketed, but how you do anything is how you're going to influence how you do everything everything across the map right because i always forget to show you guys this this is your your energy grid and, and when it tightens up on any topic that's what happens and you get blocked instead of being this is your spine and this is your grid that blasts out so again spirituality will keep changing and we're going to talk about a little bit about pluto let's go to mind mind body spirit right and, and I brought these things up, but not in order and not in this non-truth way in the past, okay? Mind, why did non-truth help me, even though it was very frustrating growing up in my life? How does Dawn see the world different? And how do I bring this to you and why? Because you're holding on and you're grasping to old non-truths. So if you, you, you met me in school as a child and going through high school and college, it was painful for me. I mean, painful, like it is for so many children, which is why I get so beefed up about school. It was such a backward way of thinking to sit and memorize something that didn't work that way in real life, or you would never use it in real life. What a waste of freaking time. That's all I thought, right? But then, right, you made it easier the way they taught it for teachers to regurgitate it and then test it to you, then label you, Dawn, for not knowing that it was already stupid. I couldn't tell them it was stupid, but I got labeled stupid for not being able to do it their stupid way. Yet no one was questioning this whole time. Lately we have, but not enough. No one has been questioning the lack of learning money management or proper food intake or how to naturally detox your body or healthy communication or how to tap into your spirit guides who are always ready to help. So my soul never felt alive in this whole idea of someone else telling me and teaching me and telling me from some box, from some person, from some religious, nutritious, nutrition, mind warping, systemic program of indoctrination, bullshit explanation. My soul was like, yeah, that doesn't work in the real world because I go out here and I do it. It doesn't work. It's stupid. Telling you that you can't go find out who you are with some simple mapping. That's the non-truth. And your soul, your soul is not going to feel free doing it in the truth matter, in stepping into your truth at the beginning, because it will feel like the flu. It will feel like exhaustion. It will feel like pain in your body. That's what it feels like when you're doing things that are pulling on your soul and it's conflicting. But the body can't go, hey, let me just talk to you. I'm your body. And I'm going to tell you what to do. It won't do that. It reacts in pain. 
redirecting you to your freedom point of truth. Okay, does that make sense? So remembering who you are now in this now moment is reawakening, it's reawakening your soul to choose rewiring. Because the rewiring, the wiring is to that old bullshit indoctrinated programmed programming in the wiring. So your nervous system is uncomfortable choosing the soul, even though the soul keeps trying to pull you back. It's going to require you to make choices that will be uncomfortable because you will be like a fish out of water, my friends. You will feel like everything you're doing is wrong. But when you do, many of you are finally seeing your patterns or the programming from childhood that no longer serves you peace. It served you order and structure but it didn't serve you peace. But but then we're like, well, then what? What do you do when you know what you don't want? When you know what programs you don't want? What do you do? You have to be willing right now, today on this call, you have to be willing to own what, what and where you have been recreating on a, an unwanted program in your adult life from the unwanted program from childhood. You must be willing to own the patterns that you set up for yourself to learn so that you could complete that karma. You chose those parents, you chose those teachers, you chose those stupid bullshit classes so that they would conflict with you, right? Why your soul You have to know why it came here to cut the karma for all the ancestors in your past. But what I've realized about being able to see the programs from your parents, it's less about judging them. And it's all about owning what you took as a child from their teaching as law, i.e. the religion, right? This is in the book and this is in the box. And this is at the church and he is clergy or whatever. So that must make it law. Says who? It's stupid. Okay. Now being loving and kind and love, kindness and compassion, like unconditional love. Yes. But that doesn't match what they're teaching. Right. And so what you took as a child from your parents' teachings and you're creating this law Are you replicating it as an adult to see yourself? That's the power when you own it to see yourself as you do living in this now moment, right? Because it's there not for you to belittle yourself. It's there for you to remove the weight it carries in your life. That you may carry it into others' lives, your friends, your family, your relationships, Right, because we're in a big, we're going to talk about the planets in a minute. We're in a big relationship reveal right now. And this is what's happening. Your body, mind, spirit is getting literally cracked open from all the bullshit wiring programs that don't fit you anymore. That may, you're, you're here to understand that if you're carrying these into others' lives unknowingly and making them think it's their bullshit and not yours as well, this is the ownership. But if you can see it, and this is a big if, okay, you will begin speaking from a safe space to others. They will all find you safe, okay? This is why you need things that conflict your soul to push you to the next evolution of the Aquarian age, because Aquarius is communal. It's connection. It's love. It's support, okay? This is the new world, and it is beautiful and free and it's not diluted or belittling like we all grew up but you will be required to know who you are such as okay you ready this is how you look at it i see this is a response to being irritated at someone or being frustrated that you're repeating um an situation okay um I want you to do number one. I see why I did this. That Write that down, okay? Number two, I understand why I'm blind to realizing I'm repeating experience. Because of course, if it sucked as a kid, you don't want to see that you're doing that to someone else. So number one, I see why I did this. When well, someone's upset with you or you're upset with a scenario that you brought into your life. 
I see why I did this. Look at it. You own it. You walked in. Okay. Number two, I understand why I'm blind to realizing I'm repeating this experience. Okay. Number three, it's not your responsibility to fix this, my loving spouse, friend, child. Okay. And number four, I have compassion for how you feel and why you're expressing your feelings when I express myself in that manner. My simple short answer of that is I have compassion for why you're feeling that way. I get it. So in Dawn's version, I effing get it. I have to be careful with my F-bombs. I've been really trying to be good, but they're wiping my these videos off of YouTube. <laughs> so I know, um, of course. So, okay, you're all asking again. So here's the thing. When you're questioning, when you're repeating stuff is coming up that you want to own it because you're like, I just don't want to repeat this crap anymore. I want to cut this for my ancestors. I want to cut it for me. Okay, here's how it goes. I see why I did this. I understand why I'm blind to realizing I'm repeating these because of course you see, you don't want to repeat what they did to you. So why would you want to do that? Someone else, you want to admit it, admit it. Number three, it is not your responsibility to fix this and then put dot, dot, dot and put in whoever it is that you're telling them you need to fix me. No, they don't have to fix you. I love you. That's where you're at. Be where you are, but I'm going to change me. Okay. So it's not your responsibility to fix this, whoever. I have compassion for how you could feel why you feel whatever they're feeling from you and then walk away because what I want you guys to understand, it typically looks like when you're, you know, frustrated with bringing in your habits, it looks like ignoring someone else or yourself. It looks like yelling at someone else or yourself. It looks like defending, silencing, gaslighting. Gaslighting is telling you that your truth didn't happen. Okay. That's what gaslighting is. You know, that's a big topic. Everybody, did they gaslight you? When you're like, well, I told you this is going to happen and then it didn't happen. So when someone tells you you weren't there, you don't know, and you're like, yeah, I was freaking there. I know exactly what happened. That's gaslighting, controlling, guilting, shaming, abandoning, and self-sacrificing. When you're giving up your needs because you feel you have to, to get someone to love you or be in your space, that is when you are repeating this childhood habitual programmed law bullshit behavior body mind spirit any of that list okay so these are just to name a few i'm just trying to help you understand where it comes from and what it looks like and then you project it out instead of owning it like the list i gave you so when you say all right and, and i'm i'm meaning when i'm in this space and you're being me right 100% ownership. I mean, the weak spots in your life are yours to correct, whether it's poor behavior that you accept from others, bringing storms into your life, or you're unknowingly bringing them yourself. It's all you, my friends. This is 100% ownership. Saying, I see what they did, but I'm not doing that is total bullshit. Yes, you do. You just don't want to see it. Now you do. Okay. And so, you must step back and observe where you might be replicating the programs from childhood and then with who. So this is how you do that. Number one, what pattern do you see in your parents in yourself that's repeating now? Okay, that's number one. What pattern do you see from your parents that's in yourself you are repeating now? Number two, who do you replicate the pattern with in your own life now? And then three, how are they impacted by that pattern? And then four, how do you want to rewire it to be instead? Remember, we're here about being in peace now. So if you don't want that anymore, you have to write down, I'm going to rewire it this way. This is who I'm going to be now. Not one day, not some way out there. No ownership 100% right now is this is who I'm going to be right now. I'm going to rewire myself to do that every day. This is the hard part of non-truth bringing clarity, right? Because when they told me I was dumb and they did in childhood, when they told me I was dumb, but their options of religion, education, and health didn't work, guess what, guys? It forced me to find a better way to make it work for me. Other people are afraid to break their law. I don't care. That's why you're on Truth Tribe. 
You're here to make your new law, your new rules, your new peace of being you. So if you're uncomfortable in anyone's space right now, I want you to go there more. Why, shall we say, right? Why do I want you to go there more? Because it's, it's what you need to grow, right? It's where you're uncomfortable. It's when we're uncomfortable the most, my friends. It's, it's where we find the ways to become more and rise above it because it's uncomfortable, right? It may not be what you want, but it's always what you need to see where you're blocked requiring boulder removal, <laughs> okay? One that will be around for a long time is the programming of a religion. I get that. But the book, I'm told, right, has so much good in it as people read it. Yes, it does. But I can also show you the counter on what's being said in the book that's bad. Just like one food is good and one is bad, the same food for another. Like one class is great for an engineer and useless for a spiritual teacher. We have to stop this, that this is one human, one person, one book teaching us and you're all stuck and you're not going, wait a minute, what did I learn? Is this helping me break the rules? I don't care if it's a teacher, a, a religious teacher, a person, a parent, a friend, break the rules. Does this make sense to you all? I need you to hear this because we're about to break the rules because the planets are going to force us in and you're going to go, wait a minute, why is this crumbling on me? It's not crumbling. So much of my, my life has crumbled in the last month. And I'm not going to tell you I liked it, but I'm going to tell you as I forced myself into silence of sitting in what am I repeating? What do I don't, what don't I want? What do I need to do? How do I own this? And how do I rewire it? Holy shit, some cool stuff's coming out of it. Now I'm not going to tell you it was pretty. It wasn't, but it was important. Okay. Are Christians hypocritical to, to be using the sign of the fish, which was Pisces to express their self? I'm going to um, respond to this question at the end. Okay, so I, I'm not skipping that because it's very well, it's a very good question, but there's an answer to it. Okay, so um, thank you actually, Pat, for asking that. I'm gonna come right back to you, so don't think I forgot it. Okay, and someone said, help us address when we own it now, but have already passed down to our children, many of whom now are adults. Um, yeah, you're not passing it down to your children. They, they chose you, okay? It's how you own it now and speak in now, now moment, okay? Fixing it now. So Hold on. Let's go real quick. These are super awesome questions are coming in. Plu Let's go to planetary up update so you know what's going on and why this is forcing us to look at this stuff right now. Pluto has been retrograde for a long time, my friends. And Pluto is the planet of sex, death, and regeneration. It's been retrograde for a long time. Well, it's in 27 degrees right now of the sign of Pluto or Plu the planet of Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn. It went backwards. Remember, we went into the age of Aquarius and we backed up for a little bit. Well, this ends on October 10th. So what are we, the second? Eight days. Okay, so you're already feeling it, slowing down. It is square, basically like this. So Pluto's up here, okay? And it's sitting up here at the top and it's squaring these other cardinal signs. So if you know your chart, if you don't know your chart, go on my website, ideserveitnow.com. You can go either to events or tools and it says free birth chart. Either one will take you to the page. Do your birth chart and find out where um, Cap Capricorn sits. You'll see the little blue guy, Pluto in there. And you'll see where it sits. If you have any signs, you don't need to know the planets, but if you have any of them at 20, 25 to 29 degrees of that sign of that planet, you're going to feel this turn. Okay, so if you have planets in your chart in Libra, Aries, Capricorn, or Cancer at 25 to 29 degrees, and you know your chart, this is going to rock your world in a good way. You're going to feel this planet. It's like a ship tanker because it's a very slow planet stopping its motion on the 10th. It goes direct. It goes station, shall I stay? It stops. Okay, and it turns its direction back into Aquarius that we have discussed for years. And it's going to be there for 22 years ish. Okay. There's no looking back, my friends. We are here 
I've warned you. I've prepared you for this turn. It's a good turn. I know all the external TV. It's an illusion. It's a movie. Everything you're watching is a freaking movie. It's not real. But it's hard for you to see that because we had to see all the crap from the past, okay? It's ending now what is no longer important to you. And it's forcing you to integrate what is important to you, integrate yours in as well as your stuff, your values, but also the collective values regarding money, government, death, control systems, and how you fit into the my world and the we world. There's the Aries Libra axis I talked about last time, right? So here it is. Here's Aries. Here's Libra at the bottom. Okay. They're pulling on each other. Um, and of course, we just had an Aries full moon. Okay. And then we're going to have, I'll talk about it next week, a Libra new moon. Both of them are eclipses. One's a full moon eclipse. One's going to be a solar eclipse. So these eclipses, full moons, now back to Pluto. Pluto is going to force you to address the my world and the we world. Aries full moon still in action from the 29th, enforcing it. So a lot of you may have had Aries assertion, aggression, argumentative, um, car accidents. Some people, I've heard that they've like, oh crap, I hit the, the garage door with my car. I mean, stupid stuff. But again, metal, metal Aries rules, cars, metal, aggression, assertion, guns. Guns aren't negative. I can tell you the positive in both of them. So we have to look at this, okay? So then you have to look at this North Node, South Node, Aries full moon is, it was in that North Node of Aries. And then we have the Aries full moon and we have a South Node in Libra. And we're gonna have a new moon in Libra on the 14th. I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is shaking us all to wake up, my friends, to the I and we topics. You're not getting out of it. So the we gets affected by I that doesn't want to let go of bullshit government, all the boxed rules that told you you're stupid. And I'm telling you, they're stupid. <laughs> okay. So on a collective level, we're being asked to step into our individuality and the authentic truth of Aries. Your I needs to align with the people, the relationships of Libra that are for your highest good and release or reset or rewire right? The ones that are not. And some people will not stay with you. And some people, you just have to change how you show up, which is what tonight's class is about. So we may be seeing, right, some long-standing personal relationships, professional and personal, that, that, that are falling apart around us. And again, doesn't mean they're leaving for good, just means you're going to change how you show up. We've, there's this long-rooted old, right, leveling up that's being released now okay so you cannot sweep stuff under the rug anymore i'm telling you it will come out pluto will not let you hide from it anymore and pluto rules it's it rules death and regeneration and it's sitting in the sign of capricorn which rules government so i'm preparing you all the freaking government you've been watching is about to implode and burn to the ground and no one likes it and i'm like because you pick sides I can pick sides on religion. I can pick sides on food. I can pick sides on, on government. It's stupid because there's only one. There's one center, which is love, kindness, and compassion. And you're all keep missing because you're like, it's them. They're assholes. Their food's good. My food's bad. Well, they're hurting animals. Well, I'm killing all the bugs and the plants that actually feed oxygen. And you have to stop picking and start picking a weak group that is loving because if we have a lifetime you're all here to to break generations of lifetimes i should say of drama baggage that is blocking your ability to properly interpret the clear signs and signals that are coming into you now of knowingness of your soul signature right we've created this conv convoluted protection mechanisms that are programs that are law that interfere with your ability to simply Take direct action that you have in your soul that knows better. It knows what to do. It knows kindness. It knows love. It knows God. The good news is that this Aries Libra axis wave of eclipses that we're upon right now, they're going to keep going through 2025. Different signs, and I'll keep bringing them up to you. They're helping us have this massive clearing. We're going to clear the slate of all the old and bring in the new, okay? 
So Libra, I will talk about next week because it's right. It'll be right before the Libra solar eclipse will be on the 14th. But I wanted to bring up the 10th because that's when you're going to feel you're already feeling Pluto slowing down. It's, it's retrograde motion. It's going to stop on the 10th and turn around and start moving forward. OK, and so we'll talk about partnerships next week. All right, everybody here into your thymus. OK, I am courage. I am love. I am truth. I feel courage. I feel love. I feel truth. Okay. I see love. I see courage. I see truth. I know love. I know courage. I know truth. And you know what is non-truth. You have to own it in your heart. So your challenge is what is the area of my life I need to choose me over we from past programming? Okay, so tonight I'm going to open up the q and I'll talk about the questions that just came in, but what things or thoughts or truth, body, mind, spirit, can you see that you don't agree with, but you aren't sure where to look instead? Because that's how simple this is. It doesn't mean there's a specific one way to get another outcome that will make you feel better. And so someone said, hey, um, they didn't want us to know ourselves because they wanted to program us to be who they wanted. Absolutely. Right. So help us address when we own, when we own our stuff, but now have already passed it down to our children, many of whom are now adults. You don't get to pick your children owning it. They just get to watch you owning it. Right. And so this is a big deal for people, right? When we don't realize that we are, um, all we have to do is say, you know, I can see where I do that. I brought this up to my daughter. I said, you know, there's something you're struggling with. Don't be, don't be someone who waits for other people to commit. Don't be someone who waits for other people to show up for you because that's something your mom did. And just say, look, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whoever it is, I promised my mom I wouldn't do this anymore. And that's how I shared it with her. I promised my mom I would step up for myself, right? And I'd start being a badass and say, this is important to me. And I know you are where you'll get there when you need to, but this is what I need. This is who I'm going to be from now on. And so I gave them the ability to hear me saying I'm owning it without them feeling like I'm telling them they're not doing it right. I'm just going to change this for me. I hope you see where I made a mistake. I don't want you to do the same thing I did. Don't wait as long as I did. I was a goofball. I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't know any better. My mom and dad didn't know any better. They didn't. They didn't have the training and program we have. Does that make sense? Did I answer that okay on that one? Okay. So owning it from the, you know, tell others you don't want to make the same mistake I did. And then you can say your truth because then they can go, oh, okay. And then you just start being the who you want to be, if that makes better sense. Okay, so someone asked, are the Christians, this is a good question, you guys, okay? There's two religious questions that came up, and so <clears throat> I want to read both of them, okay? So I'm going to read the second one, and then I'm going to answer kind of both of you at the same time. The second one is, what if you still believe in your religion and you don't want to stop? Fascinating, right? Okay, there it is. My friends, I am not trashing religion or Christians or Catholics or Hindus or Buddhists or anyone. I love them all, right? What I'm suggesting is that you look at any area of your life that you are being told one thing that you don't fit into anymore. And I said this, I talk to spirit. I talk to God all day long. So my spiritual connection doesn't need work. I don't need a box or a book or a person or a middleman. I need you to look at it from that perspective about whether they're being something or not. It doesn't matter. So if you, right, some of you may, right, you may need that and, and try to attend these religious box services. And, and if you can, right, and you don't feel that you need it, great. But this just means you have to then go, well, if I can't reach, I can't go to the box, I can't go to the services, it doesn't feel right. Well, then it's simple. It means you just must research a different way to find spiritual peace for you. For others, they don't get lost in the boxes or the books of religion. They just find peace in it. So when you don't need to, dis this is why I'm bringing it up when he asked about the hypocrites, okay? 
those who are very religious, when you don't need to dismantle another's belief to have yours, it's simply just a beautiful tool. The Bible, the Quran, the Buddhist teachings, they all are beautiful tools if you can see them as what the beauty are in them. But if you're using them to torture another person and tell them they're stupid and bad, then you already know if there's something wrong with it. There's something wrong with how you were taught it. So I don't care if a Christian tells you that. And so he brought up um, by using the fish, which is Pisces, to express yourself. You guys want to laugh about this? So if you go to astrology and you look up where the sun, the, the, the second sun and, and the galaxy and how it was set up, we're just coming out. We actually have another hundred years of passing through the last constellation of, of Pisces, but that's why they called it the age of Pisces. That's why they called it the Christian church because it was the Piscean age. He walked on water, the son of God. The sun is in the sky, in the sign, and this is the, the, the distant sun. So this is way deep astrology. I'm not gonna take you too far into this, but now we're moving now in the galaxy and now we're going to sit in the the, the constellation of Aquarius, thus taking you into the golden age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius, Aquarius rules knowledge, wisdom, science, space, humanity, collective. It doesn't rule religious, spiritual teachings. Now, you all had to go through that before the dark ages when there was none of that. So why I'm saying that is they express religion through the fish because it's sitting in the sign of Pisces, which rules, or it's, I should say the sign of the fish. So what's funny to me is when we try to, to say that, you know, religions hijacked the fish. No, it's just actually the symbol of where the sun's been sitting all this time. The higher sun, right? The, the age of what we as a galaxy have been passing through. And now we're going into Aquarius. So it's a very long, slow process. Hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of years, thousands of years. So what's fascinating is when we look at everything, any one thing, and we do everything like that, it's not true. So Christians being hypocritical using the fish has nothing to do with it. That's just what they were told to use because Jesus was the, you know, taught them to fish. You have water, you have everything that in that programming, does that make sense? Food, right? Everything in the programming of that, that um, religious generate, you know, generation, I should say age, let's go back, um, was within Pisces. So everything emanated that. That's where you see all of this, right? Spiritual, the alchemist. He was the alchemist of turning water into wine, okay? He could take something and turn it into something else. He could walk on water. He could heal the sick, okay? He could take energy and be a Reiki master and heal those. So do you see what I'm saying is, is it's just that they reject astrology so vehemently because it got taken over in the Roman Empire. So the, the Bible got taken over in an order during, if you want to go research a little bit, go to the Roman Empire. If we take over the Catholic, um, turned it into Catholicism and take over the, the biblical aspect, we can control what stops you. This is why the mystics in the marketplace were burned at the stake. This is why the um, anything, anyone who was doing natural speaking and teaching, that's why they rejected astrology. Because if you knew that there were, if you could look up in the sky and get healing and talk to God like Don does by yourself, you wouldn't be controllable. And that's exactly what he said. If you reject astrology, then people are controllable. 1000% why that happened. And I'm telling you, astrology is already in the Bible. You can find it. You can see it all good there if you look for it and you can see bad there if you look for it. I can tell you where past lives are in the bad in the Bible. So we have to look at what we're reading and who's reading it and who's giving this information to you as opposed to one box. Let's learn to teach our children and education 
and educate everyone to start talking to the other realm into the astral planes already. And we won't need any boxes or books. We'll just talk telepathically. All of you wait until Pluto in the next 25 years hits Pisces. And then we're really doubled up. And Pisces is death and regeneration in the sign of Pisces means you're all going to start talking telepathically in the next 25 years. This is going to be fast, my friends. Aquarius is fast. You don't get to sit with this shit like you did in the past. This is going to be fast. Get ready. So if you can't let go of your government, your belief system, your polarity, the left and right, the good and bad, my religion, my religion, oh my gosh, my education, you're not educated, I am, all this black and white polarity, if you can't find a way to step in and go, and that was law, rule, what I was taught, and it hurt me, and you have to step into new, you're going to hurt from this, or you're going to go, Don told me it's okay. Make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Um, this that the, I knew the religion ones would come up because a lot of people have a hard time with understanding that there's nothing wrong with Christ. I want you all to act Christ-like, which is kindness and love and compassion for others, but we don't because you're watching TV. Turn your damn, turn the TV wizards off. I cannot use these words. Guys, from now on, I'm going to use other words for things because it's why I'm getting, I'm getting wiped off of YouTube and censored. Just know that's why, okay? Um, so someone says, so if we know our childhood programs are appearing right now big time. Is it because of all the planets getting us to choose a way out? Yes, 100%. And if you can see your ownership of it, you can change it as fast as it pops up with what, what, you know, what do I want instead? I respect how you feel the way you do when I express myself in this way and I own it and will find a better plan. I respect you for how you feel when I express myself this way and I will own it and find a better plan. And then you own who you want to be. See if it matches those programs. Okay. Because once you own it and find another plan for someone so you can be in relationship with them, it always opens the door for solutions. That's all people want is, can we have a better way to do this? Because I don't like it. And then a light out of nowhere in the dark tunnel shows up. Even if it takes time to find a new plan, you in ownership of your new life is the only way to get out. Right? So rejecting astrology and then people are controllable with words and signs. Absolutely. You guys is so straight up. And so I'm so glad you guys are understanding this. Astrology is easy. Now, if you guys want to go onto my website, if you go on to either your Truth Tribe or your um, Warrior Pass dashboard, tap in, log in. If you scroll down, I have a whole astrology um, um, playlist there for you on YouTube. Okay? so. I can use different words and signs. And I am, by the way, just so you all know, I'm using someone saying you can, I, I am using different words and signs so I don't get wiped anymore. Okay. But you, there's a playlist on, on your dashboard. So if you're not in the truth tribe, go sign up. It's free. If you're in the warrior pass, cause you get all my stuff. It's in there as well. Either one, you still have warrior or truth tribe stuff. Go look at the, go watch the couple of videos I put in there about astrology and religion and how they're one in the same. And I'm not trying to sell anyone anything. I'm preparing you for non-truths. If you don't question, this doesn't feel right. This is judgment. It was criticism. It is pulling people away from each other. It's stupid. And any one of you who teaches a child that they're stupid because they can't pass a class, shame on you. Teach them how to balance their budget and grow gardens, and eat healthy, and exercise, and run, and artistically express themselves, and show their gifts to the world, you show me that, and I'll show you a powerful human. That's what I will show you. Does that make sense, my friends? Any questions? So why I'm sharing all of this with you is, is because um, the Pluto, you're already feeling Pluto, kicking your booties and you're going to feel this this you're still feeling the remnants of the full moon which made a lot of people argue about things so you finally said oh my god finally said how i feel 
And the other person's like, oh my gosh, I don't want you to feel that way. I can own how I feel too. So you don't, so we're coming into I mode together. I'm not saying I mode to separate from each other. We're just starting to be more independent and confident. Okay. So FYI on the 12th masterclass that I'm teaching, removing boulders to manifest miracles is on this topic. You're going to learn your life purpose, boulders that are blocking you from that living that purpose. And your own personal spirit, guys, which again, God's like, hello, I sent you all these angels to protect you, talk to them, but you aren't because you're not allowed to if you're in a religion. Okay, so they're there, they want to help you. So all of you in Truth Tribe and Warrior Pass, go log in because there's a button right there with a coupon code if you want 20% off. If you don't care, like I said, it's, it's a very nominal fee anyway. So if you don't care about 20% off and you just want to pay full price, just log on to... Um, I deserve it now.com and hit events. It's the first button there in red and you can sign up and I will see you guys there. This class will help you guys bring your friends. So you have someone to share this information with when you learn about it and you can say, okay, let's talk through this together. So we support each other. Okay. All right. So um, last but not least, I'm changing some of my um, group um, coach, coach coaching. Okay. I'm going to teach coach the coaches because people are a lot of a lot of people are asking me for so therefore those of you who are interested in teaching my IDI academy work I would love for you to so you can help me so I'm looking for um my my tribe that has listened and learned from me from so long and you're ready to start either teaching the events yourself or learning to how to do it and and coming in and teaching these things so I'd like you to shoot me an email instead of dawn at I deserve it now.com email me at info I deserve it now.com that says, yes, let me know if you're interested in my VIP coaching the coaches course program. Okay. If you are, and you want to start coaching people the way I coach, which is truth instead of this BS programming. Now, again, there's a lot of amazing coaches out there. I'm not saying there's not, but I, I want you to understand we have to include spirituality, but make it real time. We can't have this out there religion down here. God's out there. God's in here. It's in here. But you also have to know who you are. And you need to le learn how to teach people that. So even if you just want to take the class as a person who says, I want to know this about all my family so I can know them. I can know my spouse. I can know my friends. It's still teaching. Because it's teaching people how to be in their truth without losing themselves and own that truth. And that's my goal. So this isn't just for teachers. This is for people who want to be able to stand in this light at all times. Okay. All right. So find me any questions on that. Find me if you have questions on the, um, the removing boulders to manifest miracles. And last but not least, any random questions that I can answer anybody tonight that came up, that is coming up from all this Proof is crazy. You guys can feel Pluto. I never thought I would be able to say you're going to feel Pluto, but because it's in this direct, if you know angles, right? And this is a direct angle right here. Okay. And so this L frame that you've got going on, Pluto's out here and it's running a line right here, all the way up from North node to South node to full moon to, to new moon. And so it's really putting a lot of pressure on us to let the crap go and step into your new truth of what is in your soul. So no, you got, I cannot be more specific right now. If you don't know who you are, you're going to get rattled by this. Knowing your truth, knowing your soul, knowing your purpose, knowing why you're here changes the game because then you go into lighthouse mode and lighthouse mode means you just shine being that and you can own it if you're over bright with someone or you're over pushing with someone or you're controlling and you just forgot you did okay so it's some of that energy and when you get into that truth of who you are and you just become the lighthouse and you don't move the boats will find you but we don't judge boats by their political party we don't judge boats by their religious party we don't judge boats by their education level we don't judge boats you're just light and that's the game changer and we have an entire planet moving into a, an aquarian age that helps everybody start becoming a collective of humanitarian love and we're about to go there so if you think it looks bad it looks bad 
just looks bad on your eyes because it's all digital. But watch what happens because we're all coming together going, this is total bullshit and you know it. The truth will win because truth is God and God is love and love is the only way. Cool? So I was that good tonight, you guys. Nothing else. No other questions? Awesome. Okay. Love you too. If you guys have any questions or you want to join in, like I said, on my Coaching the Coaches, the VIP IDI Academy, um, just throw in there. I don't even care what it is, what you want to learn, what you want to be part of it. And I love you all. And I will see you guys in a week. Remember, do not take any of this turning personal, even stuff that's crumbling in your life. It's supposed to because you're going somewhere really amazing. So cool. So beautiful. I love you all. I will see you all very soon. See you on Monday. If you need anything, let me know. Brightest blessings. You guys have a good night. Bye.